Hugh Forsyth served in the army for 12 years. He's never handled a horse before, but he's able to do just that without touching the animal. Well, almost. Try and think back to when you're probably back to childhood memories when you when you don't think about anything, you don't worry about anything, you just go with what's going on. The former army engineer controls the horse by relaxing his body and breathing. Only then can a connection be made between man and beast. Hugh tries again, and this time, success. Sun Tui has worked with horses all her life. On her farm near East Grinstead, she's developed a way of helping people with psychological problems. So how does this help uh, ex-military personnel like Hugh? Because it recognises in them the real truth of who they really are. They've all, we've all got that element in ourselves, and what I'm doing is focusing on that and drawing them that. The former bomb disposal expert has served in Northern Ireland and Bosnia. Watch the horse as I ask him about the causes of his post-traumatic stress. The animal senses the tension. Then you've got to clear booby traps or clear a route up to or around a an IED, let's say, um, but Bosnia was, you, tra you train as a mine clearance engineer anyway, but you have to do specialist training to carry on to do that as an actual tour. Hugh, last time he came here, he said, I feel like I'm an 18-year-old boy again. I used to be like this. And I said, of course you did. And now we've just got to work with you more and more and more so you get to know that feeling more and more and more, and it comes back full time. This type of work isn't being done anywhere else in the country. When the gains appear so immediate, you have to ask the question, why not? Ian Palmer, BBC Southeast Today, Hartfield.